No question. The member from Halliburton, Port Lakes, Park. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Acting Premier. In last week's budget, the only mention of human trafficking was the reannouncement of funding to address violence against Indigenous women, an effort that is long overdue. But there is no new funding for more dedicated officers to investigate human trafficking, no new funding for dedicated Crown attorneys to prosecute this disgusting crime, and no new funding for victim services within that massive $134 billion budget. This government says human trafficking is a crisis. This government says that combating this crime is a priority. This crime is stealing the innocence of our young women. Mr. Speaker, why is this government forcing the girl next door to continue to live in this nightmare? Thank you, Deputy Minister. Minister Responsible for Women's Issues. Minister Responsible for Children and Youth Services. Thank you, Speaker. And I want to thank the uh, member from Halliburton Kawartha Lakes Brock, uh, a colleague in Durham Region, with me for raising this important topic again. And. Uh, uh, I want to also thank her for work on the, the Select Committee on uh, Violence and Harassment Against Women. And I was very pleased that uh, she was supportive of our Walking Together strategy the Premier and I announced last week, a $100 million investment to end violence against Aboriginal women and girls. But that's only part of the story. She's absolutely right. It's only part of the story, Speaker. Human trafficking is a serious issue. It's a significant priority for our government, and that's why the Premier asked uh, the Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services and I to uh, spearhead additional work in human trafficking to build on the investments we've Answer. already made and bring that uh, strategy forward this June. Thank you. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Mr. Speaker, the Liberal government didn't put human trafficking uh, addressed enough in their budget. They didn't put it in Bill 132. How much longer do these victims and survivors have to wait? We've learned from the experts that a trafficker can make over $250,000 in a year from one victim. That's roughly $5,000 a week from a single person. Oh so during the time that a trafficker makes $5,000 in one week from one victim, this government has invested zero to combat How's this that? deplorable crime. The Premier admitted that driving up drug costs for seniors was a mistake. So, Mr. Speaker, will the government admit that they got this one wrong and redirect resources to combat human trafficking today? Well, well no, Speaker. Uh, we are actually continuing to invest in uh, dealing with this despicable uh, uh, topic of human trafficking. We invest over $9 million over the next three years in our language interpreter program services. We provided 225000 funding the White Ribbon Campaign to develop and promote uh, resources that engage young men in ending human trafficking. And uh, I could go on and on about a number of investments across uh, ministries beyond my Ontario Women's Directorate speaker. Uh, we fund a victim's helpline service uh, through um, I believe that is through uh, community services and uh, corrections. We have um, provided additional money to help uh, young people in shelters be aware of human trafficking conditions and to try to prevent Thanks, that. Sir. We have more money for sexual violence uh, programs across the, the province, and uh, we'll continue to work with all the stakeholders in bringing forward a, a more robust human trafficking strategy. Yeah. By